But hey, there's more to do than just checking through old parts and drooling over some perfectly restored masterpieces. At these events, they even race these bikes. They don't just stare at them. And if you think these bikes must be dogs because they're so old, then you should think again. Because these bikes flat out kick butt. And the racers are here not to parade around the course looking for applause. They're here for one reason, to race. Later that day, I ran into some motocrossers who were also racing their vintage machines around a track just recently carved into the hills above Sears Point. I was introduced to the head man, and as luck would have it, I got an interview. My name's Jeff Smith, one of the many Smiths of the world, and uh, I'm the executive director of ARMA, that's the American Historic Racing Motorcycle Association, and uh, we have... Uh, members all across the nation. We have 4,500 members, and uh, by the end of this year, we expect it'll be in the 5,000 range. We are at Sears Point in beautiful California. It's uh, greener than I've ever seen it. I, actually, I think I'm in Ireland, but uh, obviously not. The, uh, the motocross track that we've laid out, I'm sure, Earlier in the show, you'll see uh, some of the road race track, which is uh, permanent. Motocross tracks are not permanent, uh, but this motocross track here at Sears Point is absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, it's grass, and it's the kind of uh, race track that we raced on during the uh, 1960s and the 1970s in Europe. And uh, this is, I, I believe, the most European type track that I've ever seen in the US of A. I raced in Europe, I, I raced in uh, mainly uh, national events in England and world championship events in Europe and uh, on two occasions I was world champion which which was uh, 1964 and 65 and I rode a 500 BSI so I was uh, the 500 world champion on two occasions.
And we have over 350 entries for tomorrow's event. The machines that we'll be running here are uh, machines manufactured uh, as, as early as 19, the early 50s. Uh, and we have classes for all of these machines from the early 50s. There are two or three classes for the uh, 60s. There are two or three classes. And the cutoff date for what we call vintage machines is, uh, is in 1974. And that date of 1974 gives you a clue as to what you're allowed to do with the machine. 74, seven inches of front suspension and four inches of rear suspension. Those are the actual basic requirements for a machine to run in, uh, in these armor vintage classes. This organization is driven by nostalgia. The average age of an armor member is 46. And, uh, and it, we're trying, uh, I guess, to recreate our past. And, uh, and so the, uh, how many classes, how many age classes? The age classes start at 30. There's a 30 plus class. Nobody who's 28, 29 can ride in a 30 plus class. So you don't have to race with kids if you're 30, 35, right up to 39. When you get to 39, or more accurately, when you become 40, then you're the young kid on the block again, because now there's a 40 plus class. And when you get to 50, there's a 50 plus class. And when you get to 60, and I'm 63, there's a 60 plus class. And, uh, and you're the young kid on the block when you get to 60. Because a 39 year old guy doesn't like to race with a 30 year old guy because now he's the old guy and the 30 year is the young guy and so now suddenly when he turns 40 he's the young kid on the block again and it's always good to race with your own age group because your age group thinks like you do and and they know that on sunday on monday morning you, you mustn't limp into work you have to walk into work and you have to feel good on monday morning so it's it's always good to race with your own age group you feel very comfortable there Because of the age spread and the, the oldness and uniqueness of the machines, we try to keep races to about 12 minutes duration. And so the ra each race will take about 12 minutes. We've got 15 races in the first part of the program, and then we run the same 15 races again. And so everybody gets to ride twice. Uh, everybody that keeps the machine running is going to uh, end up riding at least 10 miles. And, uh, and it's, it's, very, it's a vigorous workout. Indeed, I, I shall ride a BSA, uh, a, an English motorcycle. It's not manufactured anymore. I, uh, I rode for them for many years, and then they went bankrupt. I like to think it was nothing to do with me, but uh, it may have been. <laughs>